Hey guys, my name is Glenn. I got my real estate license in 1998 and I've been doing commercial real estate ever since. So I'm gonna talk about two ways to buy a building today. So I get a lot of people, a lot of clients who wanna buy buildings and when we look at buildings to match you up, you know, for your perfect building to buy, and again, I've been doing this for 20 years, uh, you either buy a building as an investor or what we call a user or owner occupied. So some people, need space to run their business. Maybe they want a building just for their size. So for example, if their size was 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 square feet, they need all of it. Or some people just wanna buy a building, say they need 10,000 square feet, they'll buy a building that's 20 or 30,000 square feet so the other tenants in the building can help them pay their mortgage. Typically in a building, you're gonna put about 25% down. A user's criteria, if you have a good real estate broker, you're gonna need uh, certain things to run your business. So for example, if it was an industrial use, you may need a certain amount of loading docks, ceiling heights, drive-ins, uh, maybe outside parking, possibly outside storage. So if you use a uh, experienced real estate broker, they can look for all those things and giving you a realistic price of what a building will cost you in uh, the area that you're looking in. Another way to buy a building is purely as an investor, meaning you're not occupying the building whatsoever, you're just buying a building for either good cash flow or a building that you could uh, renovate and then charge higher rents, like a multi-tenant office building, which I've done many times, or maybe you're just looking for appreciation. You're gonna buy in a very hot area and the buildings go way up in value and you're gonna get in, hopefully on the ground floor, and sell that building in three, four, five years and uh, make a nice profit. Others are buying building for cash flow. If you have a lot, you know, millions of dollars instead of getting 0.1% in a savings account or taking a chance with a volatile uh, stock market is a good way to put money into, uh, say, office or warehouse buildings that generate cash flow. So again, it really comes to what you need to do. But to do that, you really need an experienced real estate broker, whether it's myself or somebody else that knows what they're doing. Again, I've been doing it for 20 years. And those are two different ways to buy a building. So you really need somebody to advise you, uh, know what's on the market. A lot of buildings aren't listed on uh, a lot of websites. They're who you know, like I may know some uh, owners that may be willing to sell their building. So we find a lot of uh, off-market deals for clients. And again, uh, if you're in New Jersey and you want a free consultation uh, over the phone, just email me at glennrealestateexpert at gmail.com, glennrealestateexpert at gmail.com. I'd be happy to help you uh, walk through the buy process. We can see if buying a building is best for you, maybe leasing a building is best for you. Are you gonna occupy this building? Is it gonna be purely an investment? These are all things that I can go over with you and make sure you spend your money wisely. There are too many real estate brokers out there that just want the commission, that'll just sell you anything. You tell them you have $20 million to spend, they'll find you a building for 21 million because they want to maximize uh, the commission. The reason I've been in this business for 20 years is I'm about the long-term relationship. Even if we do less on, uh, on this transaction, I want to do the next 20 of your real estate transactions. So, uh, you know, I want to save you as much money because if you're happy, you're going to use me again. And a happy clients give referrals, and that's what this business is all about. A lot of people just focus on the one commission and wind up, uh, you know, losing the relationship because they just want to get the quick commission and get out of that. You know, I've lasted 20 years in this business. And uh, the reason I have is I maintain the relationships and always do the right things for the client, even if it's less money for me. So thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, again, email me if you're interested, Glenn's, Glenn Real Estate Expert at gmail.com. And we'll see you next time. Remember, we post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday. If you like what you see on this channel, subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. And always leave a positive comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.